Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I did a survey on my YouTube channel and you guys had to either pick between me supplementing on a 20 ounce tumbler or me supplementing on a stainless steel bottle opener and you guys chose the 20 ounce tumbler. So that is what we are going to be doing today. I am in a little bit of different area than I am usually recording downstairs. My heat press list because it was just too big to bring up the stairs. Um, but we're going to go ahead and work in this area. It's my craft room slash office slash just everything lives in here room. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it, you guys. And we're going to go ahead and get these tumblers made. And I personally use the tape method. You can use whichever method that you feel is best for you. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump. Hey, everybody. Right. So we are back and I am at my table and we are going to go ahead and oh, look at that start. So this is the image that we are going to be doing today. I'm going to be making one for my son. Um, and he picked his color and it's turquoise. And I do have a bundle available for that as well. So what we're going to do, since this is a straight, you don't have to worry about when you're doing it with a taper, trying to make sure that in your software you have it um, going at an angle so that they meet properly. Uh, straight is probably the most easiest way to do it. So what I like to do is take some heat tape and start up here. I still left a room on the side right here and then just tape that part down and then come down here. And what you want to do is just pull as tight as you can and get that on there like that. So that way you just kind of have a base that you're working with. And then there we go. You just want to go ahead and line it that way. I'm not worried about this part because it's white. So it's fine. But if you have something that came over, you most likely will have to trim it as close as you can and then bridge it together. And then we're going to repeat the same process that we did up top. And this time you can put it uh, in between if you want to where the two pages meet and then push it down. And you're going to do the same thing up top. If you're not good with cutting and you happen to have a silhouette that is a four and above, it does come with a cutter. So you can easily just put your image in there and uh, slice it so that way you have um, even edges. And so now what we're doing is just taping the middle. And I'm sorry, guys, if it seems like um, I'm pausing, it's because I'm checking the camera to make sure I'm still in frame because I'm in my office um, upstairs and usually I'm downstairs. But my oven lives up here. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and continue to tape everything down as far as that seam right there. All right, and so then uh, this is just regular heat tape that I am using. And then the next tape that we're gonna use is gonna be um, general purpose masking tape. Um, you can get it at Dollar Tree or you can get it at Walmart and it's like $4 and it'll come with five, I believe, that are in there. So uh, it's, it's really inexpensive. So. Once you have it looking like this, we're going to go ahead and take the masking tape and start to wrap it around and around, okay? And I usually just start in the middle. Now, when you're doing this, you want to line it up as straight as you can, okay? And you want to pull, you want to tug at the tape so that way you're applying, applying that pressure to go ahead and get it to lay down. And that is gonna be the key to uh, using the taping uh, method. If you don't pull that tape, it's gonna kinda of like lift up and then you're gonna have problems. And what I usually do is just cut, cause I found out that if I try to just go around and around, I'm creating a thick, thick barrier that sometimes interferes with the heat. And you're gonna just keep doing that um, until we finish wrapping it. So. I am not going to kill you guys with the awkward silence. Um, what I am going to tell you guys is that I will be having more videos coming soon. And for this video, like I said, I did a poll. And if you're subscribed, you go under the community tab 
and you're able to see the polls and whatever wins is what I will do. Now, if you guys have ideas that you want, please let me know in the comment section um, of this video and I will take note and I will put those into a poll as well and post that in the community and then we'll just go from there. And uh, that way I'm bringing you guys content that you want to see, answering questions that you want to know, um, and we'll get it done from there. I'm so sorry, you guys. My son had came upstairs and distracted me. He wanted something to eat, like kids usually do when you're trying to do something. So what I was saying is that I will be bringing more content to you guys because I don't just do sublimation. I do screen press. I do um, vinyl. I do dark and light transfers uh, using different transfer sheets and papers. Um, I also do mugs. So there's going to be an array of things that um, I'm going to be doing and bringing to the channel. And I definitely will run it past you guys to find out what you want, um, what you like, what you don't like. And then we'll just continue from there. So we're going to just go ahead and do this all the way around. And I'm going to do this off camera and then I'm going to come back once we have it already wrapped. Now, I think you guys pretty much have it down. You're just going to go like this and then you're going to go ahead and cut. And then you're going to proceed with your next piece of tape. Now, I'm going to come back on screen once I get to the bottom and the top to show you guys how to do that. Okay. Okay, everybody, we are back and I've wrapped the tumbler. And I stop because I want you guys to see when you get to the ends, um, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and wrap the ends, but not press them down. These areas where you use the heat tape is totally fine. Okay. And what you want to do is cut slits. Okay. Like I've done on here. Hold on. Let me make sure I got it in there for you. Cut slits like I've done here. I haven't done it to this side, but as you can see, the paper is also sticking up as well with the tape. So what you want to do is you're going to want to cut a slit in the tape and the paper. Now you want to do this um, gently because you don't want to cut too much of the paper. You want to cut it just enough so that it will tilt and lay down. Okay, so you're just going to do that all the way around. And then what it allows you to do is not have those gaps in those spaces that you could get if you were to just tape it and leave it as is. It'll start to look crumbled. Um, you'll have ghosting or you'll have white areas where the image didn't even lay down at all. And like I said, you just want to do that all the way around and it makes it easy. And then just get in there and press it and smooth it out. You want to pay careful attention to this area when you're smoothing it out because like I said, you can get those creases and those lines. So just take extra care once you get to the bottom and the top. And again, if I was out of focus, you guys, I do apologize. Like I said, I'm upstairs um, in a different area. So there we go. So now we have our tumbler. And what we're going to do next is, hold on, okay, we're going to use shrink wrap. You don't have to do this part, um, I do. Now, personally, I would say the best shrink wrap to use that I have used is Condi. And for whatever reason, they are always sold out when I decide to go back on and get more. So this came off of Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description below. It's not the best because it will start to melt a little bit, but it won't damage your, well, I'm not going to say it won't damage your oven. It hasn't damaged my oven. Okay. Um, because once I do this, I do wrap parchment paper around it as well. Okay. So that's going to be the next step that we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get our heat gun out. And I will leave in the description box below the heat gun. Um, I also got that off of Amazon. So what you want to do to make it just as easy as possible for you, I like to stand it up and go ahead and just tuck 
everything inside. And then when you get to the side, go ahead and tuck one side in because you do want this to be as flat as possible because remember, it's going to apply that pressure for you, okay? And once I get this flat, I'll come back on and hit it with the heat gun. Okay, we are back and I've tucked everything in. This will shrink up um, as soon as we hit it with the heat. And so I'll just go ahead and start with that. I usually just do the first notch just to go ahead and get everything in. You don't want to be too close with it with your heat gun because it will um, melt a hole in it. Okay. All right, it still feels a little loose, so. And I wanna show you guys something really quick because you may or may not be able to see it, but this area right here is dull and this is shiny. This is what I was talking about. If you put too much heat in one area, it will melt. And that's exactly what it did. So no biggie. We're going to go ahead and put it in and see. It's no point in trying to rewrap it, take it back out. It'll be a lesson learned and we'll just move on forward from there. So you guys can learn from my mistakes. So the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and wrap this with parchment paper. You want to use the nonstick and I got this from either Walmart or Dollar Tree. You guys know I love Dollar Tree. Now the trick with this parchment paper is that you do want to put some heat tape and some masking tape on there because just the masking tape alone, it's not going to have a hold on the parchment paper. Um, I'm not sure why it just doesn't. So you want to definitely go ahead and put down some heat tape. Okay. And then... over it like so and it's okay if you over wrap it like this it's just one in the oven and it's more or less to protect um, when it starts to melt uh, it'll have something to melt onto and like I said I've had it in my uh, oven before and it has done no damage. I don't see any drippage. It kind of like just shrivels up, if that's the best way to explain it. Okay, so my convection oven is um, already warmed up. And I do mine at 375 for either 6 or 7 minutes. Okay? 6 or 7 minutes. And what I do is at the three minute mark, I go ahead and just rotate it, okay? And what I'm doing is just cutting the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is tape the bottom. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. Okay. 
Okay. And I'm going to hit it with some heat tape because, like I said, it wants to come up. And the reason I just don't use heat tape is because I would end up using so much and it's so thin. It, it just, to me, it would defeat the purpose. I mean, you can. Okay, that's it. And I don't even worry about this part at all. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to take you guys over to the oven and we'll put this bad boy in. See you over there. Okay, everybody, we are back and we are at the oven and we're going to go ahead and put this in. And I just set it right there in the middle. And we're going to wait for this to go ahead and count down. And once it gets to three minutes, then I will go ahead and rotate it. And I will bring you guys back for that. No need for me to keep you on and bore you with a countdown. Okay, everybody, we are still counting down for the three minute mark before I go in and rotate the tumbler. I just want to take this time to go ahead and thank you all for watching my videos and thank all of my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed already, please do hit that subscribe button. It should be in the lower corner. It's really tiny, but I promise I'll make it bigger. And um, please hit the notification as well so you can be notified whenever I do upload a new video. And also hit that like button. Okay, it's time for us to rotate it. Alrighty, and so we're going to leave it in there for another three minutes to go ahead and count down and depending on if I can see it or not, I've just been able to learn to eyeball it and see. I may give it another minute, but as I said before, we have uh, tons of new content that's going to be coming out for you guys. I'm going to do the polls because that gives me an idea of what it is that you guys want to see instead of me just aiming in the dark. Might as well just ask you guys, and I appreciate you so much. Um, I try my best to respond to um, every comment. If I can't answer the questions, um, I will try my best to give you a link or to someone on YouTube that may be able to further assist you. And again, you guys, I just thank you. I can't say it enough. I just thank you guys so, so, so much. So this oven that I have is an Oster. It is the extra large and it is the French doors. Um, opener the tumblers actually i did in one of my last videos and it is the tumblers from alibaba i did a video on that that will show you the vendor and how you can order from them and you're going to be able to actually see how these sublimate so you don't have to worry about whether or not they'll hold the ink or anything like that so what i'm going to try to do from now on is sublimate on items um especially if they're from overseas vendors. If I use them to show you that they're good quality, they do work, and you don't have to um, worry about whether or not you're getting a good product. So I'll go ahead and stop rambling and wait for this to continue to do its last round, and then we'll come back for that. Okay, everybody, we are back. I just got it out of the oven, and it is smoking hot. So this is what you can see as far as um, what I was talking about that it um it melts a little bit make sure yeah right there but it's not anything that's over dramatic um it just is your personal preference again i recommend condi um they have really really good ones so what i'm doing now is just getting an exacto knife Okay. Now, of course, you would let it cool down. I usually let my stuff cool down before I go in. Um, some people want to take it out immediately. Uh, it's totally up to them. I've never any, experienced any issues with ghosting. Um, I know that's the, the fear because, you know, it's still hot, so it's still sublimating in a sense. And as you can see, the tape still held it on together. And it is hot, but I'm holding it up here because um, this is just kind of like warm. Okay. 
Now, the thing with masking tape that a lot of people don't like to um, deal with is that it, it can leave a sticky residue. Um, and it'll leave like a white mark on the inside from the adhesive, from the tape. Honestly, I just go and spray everything down with Gooby Gone anyway, so it can take all of that off. Okay, and this is just the rack that it came with, and this is a tile. Because I do um, resin and also vinyl on tiles to make customized coasters um, as well. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think that's as cool as it's going to get. All right, I'm going to let that cool down and come back. Okay, everybody, we are back. And we're going to go ahead. It's cooled down enough. <laughs> Now I can already see where I messed up at because I didn't do my measurements correctly. Um, so it left a little bit of the white at the top and down here at the bottom. But what I do want to show you is that you can see how smooth the edges are. They don't have those little indentations like they did, uh, like, like you can get. I've gotten them before when I was first learning um, and it's just best to smooth them all out. But that is it using the tape method and then that is the seam right there or where people like to say that line um, you may or may not be able to see it you can see it right here but uh, it's a seam line that goes right there and it laps perfectly um, over but that is the cup and I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you have any comments please leave them below any questions, um, yeah, just let me know. And if you guys didn't notice, there is an error. I forgot to mirror my image. So my son's name is backwards. Great. So lesson learned. Remember to always mirror your images. <laughs> okay, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.